In this example we explore more on the use of component method. Here we have three forces with corresponding magnitude and direction. We are asked to determine the resultant vector using component method which is a mathematical method. First we draw the problem to visualize it as shown here in the figure. Now let us extract each of the components of the three vectors. First for force 1 which we see here that the x component is the cosine function of the angle 30 degrees and it is about 86.6 newtons. If it is in vector form, we simply add a positive i hat. Similarly, for the y component it is a sine function. We see that it is 50 newtons and in vector form we add a positive j hat. For the second vector or force 2, we apply the same mathematical method but replacing the quantities. For the x component of force 2, it is 75 newtons A and its y component it is about 129.9 newtons. For the third vector, we see that it simply lies along the negative x axis and clearly it has no y component. We see that it has only an x component which is 200 newtons and it is negative which indicates that it is going in the negative x axis. We then sum the component of each vector and we see that the component along x for the resultant is negative 38.4 newtons. The component along y axis is 179.9 newtons. Drawing the components, we see that the resultant would be in the second quadrant which is due to the fact that its x component is a negative value. To obtain the magnitude of the resultant vector, we apply Pythagorean theorem and we see that it is about 183.85 newtons. For the direction, we use the tangent function. We have to be careful here in regards to the orientation so we look at the image. We see that the angle theta for the tangent function is measured with respect to the negative x axis. So, Solving first the angle theta we get that it is about 77.95 degrees with respect to the negative x axis. So, to determine the orientation with respect to the positive x axis, we simply deduct theta from the 180 degrees and we get 102 degrees and it is measured from the positive x axis. So, using the component method, the resultant vector is about 183.95 newtons. Its position is 102 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis.